टू माई चैनल आई एम नेहा पारेशन वर्किंग इन अल्थ केयर कंपनी एंड बेस्ट इन जर्मनी दिस वीडियो चैनल इज अ स्मॉल इनिशिएटिव फ्रॉम माई साइड टू शेयर नॉलेज अबाउट द हेल्थ केयर वर्ल्ड एंड ड्रग्स इन एन ईजी वे एज आई एम अ पैशनेट हेल्थ केयर प्रोफेशनल एंड आई बिलीव दैट एजुकेशन इज द बेस्ट गिफ्ट वन कैन रिसीव और गिव बैक टू द सोसाइटी विद दिस इन टूडेज वीडियो विल टॉक अबाउट द ग्लोबल रेगुलेटरी स्ट्रैटेजीज एंड प्लानिंग दैट आर डन बिफोर स्टार्टिंग एनी न्यू प्रोजेक्ट रिलेटेड टू ड्रग डेवलपमेंट In my last video, I gave the overview on all the nine steps that are followed for the IMD's application. If you have not watched that video till now, then you can watch it now. The link for the past videos have been given in the description box below. Now let's start with the first step during the IMD preparation, that is planning the global regulatory strategies. Whenever a company wants to launch a new drug into the market. first thing they do is the market analysis just to understand is there any disease for which we need a cure or in other words we can say is there any need of a drug for the disease right if there is a need of a drug for that disease then the companies look for what are the other competitors already available in the market and if we start developing that drug then is it financially viable option for us to develop that drug based on the cost benefit analysis and does it make a business sense at the same time if management decide to go ahead with the project it needs lot of preparation and planning starting from drug discovery development until it's ready for approval the stakeholder from all the key functions are involved during this planning and meetings are performed normally the document is prepared during these meetings with such information which are discussed during this planning meetings This document is called Global Regulatory Planning Document. However, in different companies, this can be called with a different name, so don't get confused with that. But the purpose of this document is same, and the information that is usually included as part of this document is first, what is the market size? That means what will be our target country in which we want our drug to get approval. in which country we want to get our drug approved first and which country will be the next follow up country right so this kind of information related to market size is included inside that document then going forward once we know which countries we are mainly targeting then we discuss what regulatory pathway we will be selecting and what is the rationale behind it the pathways or route by which we can approach to health authorities are different for different countries therefore which pathway we will be selecting for our product in different countries are captured as part of this planning document what else i discussed during this planning phase one document which is very important i also mentioned this name in my previous videos this is called target product profile or tpp this is also prepared during this planning phase This is a very important document as the name itself indicate target product profile. So how will the profile of our pro target product look like? In my next videos, I will be talking about this topic TPP specifically in detail. Then the next important information which I discussed during this project planning is what will be the regulatory requirement or project deliverables along with their timings of availability and the responsible functions. That means who will be responsible person for these deliverables and what by what time these deliverables will be ready based on this we estimate the submission timelines in different countries as we know each project involves some or the other kind of risk with it right so this is also true for drugs if we see any risk then these critical risk and their mitigation plans are captured as part of this planning document what next what next is included in this planning document what will be our strategies for the interaction with health authorities that means um throughout our entire project how we will plan meetings and interaction with health authority that is with fda these details are also captured and aligned as part of the planning so these are the key information which are included as part of the planning but sometimes people ask me what is the best approach for designing these regulatory strategies and how to decide which country to consider first and which country will be next of course the demand and market size are the first two most important driving factor to decide which country will be targeted first apart from this from regulatory perspective there are some important other aspect which we need to keep in mind first one which country has the most stringent regulations and have lots of requirement to fulfill 
as this country needs special preparation time with respect to the deliverables then the second point comes which country has the longest approval timeline this will also be impacting our planning right so when we know which country has the most stringent regulations which country has the longest approval planning what else do we need to know we need to know which clinical and cmc data generated from one country can be utilized for another country by this way we can avoid duplicate studies and data and the data generated for one country can be used for another countries as well there are some countries who rely on approval from other countries right so this is also one of the important aspect to keep in mind for example there are some eu followers countries they wait for their approval until eu approve it eu means european union yeah so we need to figure out which countries are dependent on which countries because we cannot submit in one country until the different country has approved that application considering all these aspects an effective regulatory strategy is prepared a poor planning can sometime lead a company in trouble with a loss of lots of resources and money we as a regulatory professional make sure that robust and effective global regulatory strategy is made in order to avoid such losses and future issues now before we end this video do you know one point which we already touched upon today that is target product profile tpp is this a binding document or it is a non binding document if you know the answer then please comment in the comment section i will reveal the answer next week in the next video which will be going to release next week we'll talk about the next step that is step 2 what is that preparation of tpp so do subscribe my channel and click on the notification bell so that you will get to know about my next videos from this series till then let's stay connected for the next videos Please.